how to align with your natural calling. Okay, so what is a natural calling, huh? You know, does your natural calling come from your parents, your professors, your society? <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't. So when we look at the essence behind a true calling, all I'm going to tell you here is that it will be a roller coaster. Initially, you're going to have to, sometimes the easiest way to start is just to get clear on what isn't your natural calling. Now, I do not imply to obsess over what you're not meant to do. And that can be a slippery slope because, right, you want that red car or you get that red car, you start seeing it everywhere. The nature of energy is, is magnetic. And we have to be aware of the frequency which we're radiating. So to awaken to your natural calling, there's many paths in life. But practically, if we make this simple, you're going to need to develop certain skill sets. Now, this, the trick is, right, I'm sure many of you have heard of that Ikigai concept. And essentially, it is just looking at where is the holistic symbiosis? by symbiosis you know my sister i was i was like do you know what a synchronicity is or a symbiosis and she's like mm, i'm not sure and i'm like do you know what it is to be in sync she's like yeah so i'm like so a symbiosis is a extension of being in sync you know it's basically the same thing to be a synchronicity basically the same thing so what i'm getting at here is the simplicity of the mind if you filter your life to see fundamentally what your natural calling is, it will align you with a clarity. You know, a clarity both in your outward world, financially, relationships, materials, wealth, and in your inner world. You know, because there isn't a division between the outer and inner. It is, right, the ego is just as real as the observer. It's all the same thing. But to see the natural calling, this is to hear the flute, which is the observer, watching the one, Justin, you, Sarah, input your name, the ego who thinks, right? And it's not that the thinker is bad nor good or the observer is bad nor good, but we have to see, right, the words are not the meaning, right? I can say a word, you can say a word, and we could mean it in totally different ways. The meaning is beyond the word. So to start to see what your natural calling is, you have to begin to read between the lines. To read between the lines is really what intelligence is. And I, when I use the word slow, I don't mean to be lethargic. I mean to have order in your life, in your mind, so that you can hear the flute. Because what I'm talking about now is I'm not telling you what your natural calling is. I can't do that. You need to do that. But what I can share with you is the game, the play, the serious work, which allows for you to be sensitive to hear the natural calling yourself. I would be foolish to think that I could tell you what your natural calling is, right? That wouldn't be natural. That would be me being your authority, thinking that I know something. The only thing I know is that I don't know, right? And that's in my previous video, I'm kind of ranting about how when you're truly in line, your life is unpredictable. And the only security is insecurity. I don't mean fear insecurity. I mean the unpredictability of living in harmony with the moment now right but at the same time you can feel that all the work that's been done is accurate that your life your state of being has uh, awakened healed ended the things which created the suffering and the pain all the illusions created by the brain cells the knowledge the memory the experience right so to make this all simple your natural calling it let's start here Practically, if you want, if you know, if you know that your natural calling isn't what society, your parents and professors are telling you, clean up your physical world. Clean up your room. 
Get some, I'm not saying expensive clothes. Get some clothes that are comfortable yet look good. You know, take care of yourself. Physically consume clean ingredients. Work out, run, exercise. Pick up a sport. Less phone, less entertainment. You know, less distraction. You can listen to music, but if you're always listening to music, you're, you're numbing yourself. You know, so balance your life. I'm not saying be a saint and, um, you know, chase enlightenment. The fact is you're already awake. You just have to hear the thing which is speaking to you. It's there. I know it's there. But there are certain ways of living that numb that, suppress it, and avoid it. And the only way to figure out your natural calling is to clean that stuff up. Right? You clean up, you grow up, you wake up doesn't always happen in that order. <laughs> Have a great day. Bottom line is free uh, two-day structured plan. Lose body fat. Get ripped. Nice abs, big arms, chest. Easy. I'm talking easy. Like all you have to do is consume a certain amount of protein, lift weights, and live healthily. If you need help with the details implementing that, reach out to me. Shoot me a DM. Have a great day.